Good morning and welcome to the Memorial Morning Show brought to you by the Memorial AV Club comes to you from our TV studio. I am Sally. Today is Monday, October 16, 2023. Let's take a moment of our pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to a republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now we will go to Studio B where we have information on our National Day. Hello, I am John. Today is National Sports Day. October is prime time for National Sports Day. That's why on October 16th, the fans, families, and the athletes of all sports converge to celebrate their favorite athletic events. All this... The... Huh? Disciplines. disciplines of a sport take the field from the youngest to the seasoned professional. Old golfers hit the links to get a, at least nine more holes before the snow f fills. Hoopsters gear up for the season ahead. The puck hits center ice early in October, while basketball aims for the bleachers and clears the base. Football is heating up with tackles, kicks, and offsides. Don't forget, volleyball digs midseason too. Runners is the most of the runners is the most of the country love. October events like 5K, half, and full marathons throughout the nation feature opportunities to enjoy the fall weather and beautiful changing landscapes in the western hemisphere. Families gather to watch soccer final kickoff. The industry builds, and every game ends with memories of wicked kicks or the goalie's best save. October is National Bully Prevention Month. As reported on uh, 2019, in indicators of school crime and safety report, about 20% of of students ages 12 to 18 reported being bullied in 2017. Among students ages 12, 18 who were probably being bullied during, this, this, during the school year, 15% were bullied online or by text. National Bullying Prevention Awareness Month is a month-long observance to educate and raise awareness about bullying and cyberbullying prevention, addressing and preventing bullying is something that everyone can do every day. Edu uh, educators and teachers can create a safe support of learning environment in a classroom culture of positivity, inclusiveness, and respect. They can reward students for positive social behavior. Schools can communicate bullying policies at the school to parents, students, teachers, and staff and follow through on them. Monitoring bullying hotspots around the school campus can also help prevent bullying. Parents and caregivers can talk with their children about the school and digital life and the many roles children can play in bullying. By asking open-ended questions, they can talk about the child's experience and communicate expectations about appropriate behavior in person and in the digital world. Parents are the primary role models for their children and when they model the behavior they expect from their children, they teach through actions. Youth who experience bullying can reach out to a trusted adult to talk about it and get support if they're being cyberbullied. They can capture screenshots, they can block people who are bullying if they witness bullying they can change the conversation and deflect it if they feel they can do it they can stand up for the person being bullied either on their own or with friends as a group if they don't feel safe doing that they can reach out to the person being bullied to let them know that they don't agree with it now we go back to studio a a reminder from the office. You need to have your agenda with you at all times, Whiters. Your agenda is your pass to move through the halls, and it should be used as a great reminder for when assignments are due. 
an important date. Slides, flip flops, and slippers are not allowed to be worn in school. Hoodies should not be worn on your head. Balls fall in school also. Today's lunch menu is grilled cheese and pepperoni pizza, chicken patty, buffalo chicken salad, crispy chicken wrap, some butter sandwich, strawberry parfait. Do you not? Not, <coughs> did you not eat breakfast, but you find, but you find you are hungry later in the morning? Breakfast card offers a grab and go option. You can have your breakfast put in a paper bag to keep for later. Then, when you are hungry, you can eat later if your teacher gives you permission. In class. Ask about the grab and go option when you visit the breakfast cart. Now back to studio. Now back to studio. Today's forecast we will see cloudy weather with a high of 53 and a low of 44. Tomorrow we will see more cloudy weather with a high of 59 and a low of 41. In sports, soccer will have their next game on October 16th against Wachusett Central Tree and again on October 18th against Charlton. Cross Country will run against Neshoba on October 17th. Girls Middle School Field Hockey will have their next game on October 17th against Mount View Middle School. Some club announcements. The AV Club is looking for members. If you are interested in working with video cameras, audio equipment, and live streaming, and podcasting, this is for you. They meet on Tuesdays and Thursdays from 3 to 2 p.m. See Mr. Landry for permission slip in room 243. Do you want to help make the yearbook to help create memories that people will keep for years to come? Join the yearbook club. You can either sign up at lunch or find a poster with a QR code. Scan it and fill out the Google form. The drama club is looking for members too. If you are interested in working on or off stage, <clears throat> they meet in the drama room 120 at 2 p.m. See Miss Barrett for more information. The Multicultural Club is looking for new members. The club looks at highlights and accelerates the accentuates the diverse cultures and languages within our school. Meetings are bi-weekly, Thursday from 2 to 3 in Miss Martinez's room, 2.51. The mathletes will meet on Thursdays from two to three p.m. in from two to three p.m. in room two fifty three with Miss Stinsalts. If you love math and want to compete in competitions to represent to represent Memorial, this club is for you. Come check it out and get your math on. Now back to Studio B. I mean A. The Monty Tech eighth grade tour will be on October twenty third. 2023. This this is a great opportunity to see what Money Tech has to offer. November 10th is Veterans Day, so there is no school on this day. We are looking for students, teachers, and staff who have talent and they want to show Memorial Middle School. We will host an open mic event called the Panther Talent Hours. This open mic event will allow people to sing, dance, play their instrument, tell jokes, juggle, read poetry, or do any other talent that you want to show. This will this event will take place every, every third Wednesday for the month. This the first day will be will be October twenty fifth from four to five p.m. in the STEM lab room two forty three. Anyone who reserves a spot for the open mic will give up 
to 10 minutes of performance time. If you're sh if you're show up the day for you can have up to five minutes for performance time. Parent permission slips will be available from for any students who wants to pre participate. See Mr. Landry for a permission slip. Now back to student B. That's all for today. Remember that you can watch the Memorial Morning Show on our new streaming server on our school information website on FATV, Civic Channel, Comcast 1074, and Verizon 2. 13, uh, 137, both at Cheat Channels and Verizon 37, or at owncast.cglandry.com every morning during school at 7.30 a.m. You can also catch our old episodes on our YouTube channel. To find our YouTube channel, just do a YouTube search for Memorial Middle School Fishburg, or find the link on our web, or find the link on our school website. Thank you for watching, and remember to watch again for all the school news. Have a great Memorial Panther today. Eat your dang breakfast. Welcome to me interrupting the show for the thousandth time. Eat your breakfast. Have a good day.